Hey everybody, <clears throat> excuse me, it's Aluna Michaels, Esoteric Astrologer. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. um, let me make sure you can see me here. I have moved, I think I'm all right, um, and things are a little bit uh, hectic here, <laughs> chaotic. Um, see some unpack things in the background, but I wanted to make sure I get to you. I moved from Michigan to Florida, so it's the end of the month, and have some interesting things to talk to you about for June 2014. Um, one of them let's talk about is Mercury retrograde. Mercury is turning retrograde on the 6th and 7th, going direct to the last day of the month. It's retrograding at 3 degrees of Cancer and going back into Gemini, going direct at 24 Gemini. So we've got two signs that it's covering. And um, I think because it's going to retrograde in Gemini, a lot of people have been feeling really obsessive and worrisome because you know Mercury does not like to retrograde in Gemini, maybe least of anything. Oh, well, sorry, here's my cell phone. Either I'm going off, <laughs> um, and so as that happens, especially I find before the retrograde tends to be the worst with people being anxious and of course the usual stuff with the retrograde, Mercury retrograde of. Um, you know, machinery being strange, or cars, or computers, so just bear with all that. Um, but there can be emotional communication issues because of um, Mercury retrograding in Cancer, which is about people connecting and needing their needs met. So be extra patient with people if they're not getting, it's not coming across what you need, or or what um, maybe asking others what they're needing, or maybe other people who aren't on a spiritual path, it might be harder for them to access what they need and just feel frustrated. So just be aware that's there. Um, kind of at the same time, Neptune is going retrograde. Now, of course, Mercury retrogrades very frequently, um, a few times a year, <clears throat> whereas the outer planets retrograde once, they go retrograde once, they go direct once during the year. So Neptune retrogrades, um, and I did have some notes here. Hmm, where are they gone? There they are. Um, Neptune retrogrades on June 9th. It won't go direct until um, Christmas. So don't worry about it being retrograde the whole time. It's just as it turns retrograde, again, it can produce fear um, or um, a sense of disorientation uh, for people who are, you know, don't know why they're feeling, again, needy, anxious, and kind of whiny maybe. Um, but it's a great time for spiritual focus, um, for meditation, even for art, music, if you have those kinds of inclinations, because as Mercury, so Mercury's retrograding at the beginning of Cancer, and um, Neptune's retrograding at the beginning of Pisces. So those are two water signs, and they trine. So it's actually a very interesting, thoughtful, creative time. So if you can get kind of past emotional stuff, and maybe even you know walk in nature or um, have a fountain even in your space, that helps with the water element or going to the beach. Um, listening to maybe a CD, a meditation CD with rain or something like that, those kind of things can access more of your creative um, and spiritual possibilities, you know? So those are the good things about it. But I mean, on a day-to-day -day basis, it can be kind of frustrating for people again because they feel like their needs aren't gonna be met or what's happening, oh. And so if they're not comfortable with that um, void space, like a pregnant void that everything can be possible, some people feel anxiety within that space. So again, being patient with those people um, who do have that anxiety. Now, the other thing that's a little bumpy is Mars. We've been talking a little about Mars because it went retrograde in March. It went direct last month around the 20th of May. It's forward now, and what it's going to do, so it's forward, going forward in Libra. This month, it's going to square Pluto and Cancer, excuse me, Capricorn and oppose Uranus in Aries. So let's talk about the Mars squaring Pluto, which is gonna happen um, the 13th and 14th. Yeah, sometimes you can, so that's, you can even say like the 12th to the 15th is kind of going on. So Mars is about anger and um, wanting to have immediate results of things. Pluto is about, um, it's like Mars's big brother. So it's it's delayed gratification. And <clears throat> so when Mars squares Pluto, it can be a lot of frustration about, you know, oh, I want things to happen. Oh, and Pluto's making, you know, giving the lesson of waiting and all this. And Mars is like, I don't want to wait, especially because I've been retrograde, you know. So again, extra patience, especially with relationships, because uh, Mars being in Libra, again, has to do with people coordinating 
energies within a relationship, especially this could be about money because Pluto can have a lot to do with money, with sexuality, power issues in general, um, withholding, um, resentments about finances or sexuality, those kind of things can come up when Mars squares Pluto. And it's only a little bit of time, obviously it's just a weekend that this happens, but, <clears throat> excuse me, happening within the retrograde and the Neptune retrograde, it's again, people feeling they seem attacking or seem defensive, but really there's um, a primal neediness underneath, um, a fear of abandonment, a uh, lack of feeling secure. So they could, people could seem aggressive or cold or something, or, but they're really feeling sensitive inside. And, and, and it's such a deep sensitivity that it could come off like, you know, again, just being aware of that. Um, later in the month, Uranus opposes, excuse me, Mars will oppose Uranus. That's like the 22nd, 23rd. Um, this one, you know, it's funny because I, I hate the kind of astrology. It's like, be careful driving. You know, I kind of grew up with that sort of astrology. It's like, really? But yeah, be careful driving um, when Mars is opposing Uranus. And that's because other people are feeling very edgy. Mars um, is cars in some ways too. And again, it's like going from one thing to the next. So it represents cars in that way, but it can be the aggression of the car. And Uranus is accidents or sudden things. Um, having your mind on too many things can be Uranus. And so when Mars opposes Uranus, it can be people doing sudden stuff in cars because they're frustrated. Um, and just it tends to be most people are going to feel irritated under that. And so just keeping your eyes out for everybody, what they're doing. Are they not paying attention? And there can be an accident. Maybe they're not necessarily road rage or something. But um, just being aware of those transits is very good. Um, even the Mars squaring Pluto, you can be aware of the driving stuff then. Um, so, yeah. Um, Mars opposing Uranus. It's also a time if you are in a relationship, again, because this Mercury's retrograde time through the whole month of June, um, maybe doing some journal writing about what, where are you not clicking with needs um, and making a list about that and pondering those things and what are you willing to compromise on? What are you not willing to compromise on? Or what, what, how could there be a resolution? These sorts of things. Um, and then when we get into July, it can be a better time, or at least past the Mars opposed Uranus, a little easier time about talking about that kind of thing. Sometimes when Mars is in Uranus, or Mars, Mars is in Libra, there's a tendency with your Libra to be the other. Do I say Mars in Uranus again? Mars in Libra. You know, you're doing this to me. I'm not happy because you're doing that. So when you're meditating and thinking, huh, what's my part of it? Or how could I give better? Um, signals about what I want I can be more direct because Mars and Libra is very indirect. So, um, and again, with Mercury retrograde, just miscommunication. You know, I'm saying this thing, you know, I'm saying tree, and you think I mean oak tree, and I mean little baby bonsai tree, and it's like, well, that's very different. So, getting more specific about what these needs are. Um, so, try not to make snap decisions about relationships during this month. Is, probably a good thing. Um, there can be drama with that Mars opposed Uranus. It's over, you know, it's impossible. Like, well, maybe not, you know? So, um, and maybe not blurting stuff out that are gonna cause more of a problem. Um, just waiting till that ugh, feeling passes. So, okay, so I'm pretty sure I covered most of the things um, to talk about. Let me just look here. Um, well, one thing just to say is that when we have the new moon on the 27th of June, it's at five degrees Cancer, which is the point where Mercury re went, turned retrograde and Mercury will start turning unretrograde at that time. And again, just emphasizing that thing about the needs, you know, because it says Cancer, you know, what I want, the needs, and, um, you know, and just knowing that there is harmony, that there's an ability for needs to merge and coexist that you might not see right away. Um, and meditation, forgiveness, and maybe affirming that there is divine order within all these needs to be able to weave them together in a way that makes each person feel important and, and heard and satisfied with the um, relationship. So hang in there with all that. Um, and not this is a terrible month or something. Again, the best thing can be, even if you're not like an artist, like, like doing some art, like kind of just 
expressing yourself that way, um, journal writing, because that could be seen as creative writing, um, nothing you need to show anybody, but it can be a way to access, um, get out of your mind and get into the subconscious in some way, and even if you don't know what you're drawing or something, it can relieve tension, and then a solution can come to your mind about what to do or how to solve things. And um, again, if you're feeling tense, don't talk, just process some other way. Take a bath, again, take a, go by the water, listen to your rain meditation, do some writing, do some drawing, something. And um, even movement stuff could be seen as that Neptune retrograde helping you too with the Mercury retrograde. So just no sudden decisions. And, um, and knowing that um, all needs can be fulfilled. And we just gotta figure out how to do it. And those ideas can come to you when you're not um, feeling so frustrated or disappointed about that. Um, okay, so if you would like to contact me, um, alunamichaels.com, um, you could call me. My number's on that website. Um, my email isn't working right now because Mercury retrograde, but it should be within a few days. Um, so phone might be the best way to do it the next week or so. So um, have a happy June and hang in there. I'll talk to you later. Bye.